All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number one here of the new Maple Bay hole. I want to try to get you guys set up here. <clears throat> So let's take a look here. What I'm going to typically try to do from the second tee box is try to go over to this right side. Uh, it is going to be just a tiny bit risky, as you can see, that this one actually does roll through into the sand. Um, however, it's going to be much easier than the back tee. So if you were watching my Tour 11 videos, you'll see that this is actually very tough to accomplish. However, it should be much easier from here. So what I'm going to try to do is some kind of backspin. And I'm thinking about going relatively full here with some curl, just slight. <clears throat> So you can see with the backspin, we can just kind of nestle it into the fairway. You might be able to get away with no backspin. <clears throat> Here you can see we have a nice headwind. There um, isn't really a backstop on this hole. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to just try a front door type approach with a uh, thorn, most likely. So let's take a look here. Ooh, close run. First thing you might want to do is just size this up, figure out where you'll be pulling to. So let's take a look. I won't be too much towards max. It seems to be maybe just a little bit more than mid. So I'm thinking somewhere up here, 11.2, six-ish rings. So let's see if I can't get this kind of straightened out first off. To get this wind guide straightened up somewhere in here. Keep this ball guide kind of tight to the hole here. 6.6 .6 rings. Somewhere right up about here. Perfect ball. And it looks like not quite not quite perfect, but very close. You can see that pitch is going to be a little bit tough. When you land on that fairway like that, it seems to be kind of, you could see how, how um, left it was, how it was like positioned towards the left. So you could see that lining that up, since it's hopping so much to the left, it was hard to, to not get that to bounce left, even with that wind effect. And it's because of that I was landing on kind of like a side slope. So it actually makes that pitch really hard. Might be better to just go at that with a, uh, a backspin type approach as well. So might be the best way, you know, go with your thorn and try to backspin that one. Once again, not a new hole. I'm going to try to get all of these to shoot outs if I can, unless I make some hole out. I'm going to try to minimize my mistakes so we can try to get these new holes and as you can see, I'm running into a lot of trouble getting the new holes right now. Now, this is actually a tough wind for this hole. Very, very tough wind. So what you can see my opponent doing, taking it off the fairway. This works. Um, I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. I can usually get a little bit closer than the guys who do this. But that actually nestled up there pretty close. That was actually pretty well done. 
Now, what I typically do here is very, very close to min on the adjustment. So I might be, you know, looking over this way towards the wind. And then, as I mentioned, you know, very, very close to this min adjustment. What I'm going to do is pretty much stick to this shot. You'll see that I'm going to be pulling down right at the min line. I might just do just a tiny bit of curl here. <clears throat> ah, looks like I was a little bit off on that. Something I didn't calculate right. <clears throat> Not sure why that why that landed significantly left. But uh, you know, I have a feeling it might have to do with kind of pulling into the water there, kind of at lo low ground, and then it just kind of short landing. And in, in combination with maybe over adjusting, what I'll typically do when I pull down to lower ground like that, I'll usually under pull maybe about almost a ring. Also, when I applied that curl, you know, I might have short hit it just slightly or, you know, also pulled my rings just at a slight angle. You'll want to work on tightening that up. Um, as I mentioned, that was a very tricky win to do that. Anytime that you're pulling back over that water, it's not my favorite angle to go for that bump. That's actually my least favorite angle to go for the bump. I like the tailwind. I like the headwind. I like the left wind. I do not like the right wind. But uh, good luck there with that hole, and I will catch you guys on the next one.